Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is CR and please do remember if you do not like what I say, how I say it, or why I say it, then please do feel free to click off this video and go about the rest of your day in peace. And so back again with another pick a card reading and this one is going to be what is your next job so that's what we're going to be looking at different job possibilities that you could be having next especially if you're you know you're currently searching for a job these might be areas that you want to look at for opportunities and etc etc again this is still a general reading so not every card not every message may apply to you personally and that is perfectly all right if it doesn't feel free to go check out a different uh career reading on my channel or anybody else's channel for that matter so of course we have three piles here today and so for pile one we have the orange fairy for pile two, we have the dragon fruit fairy. And for pile three, we have the grape fairy. So again, take as much time as you need. Meditate on the cards. Use a pendulum if need be. And I also do want to mention, if you would like more exclusive pick a cards, coloring pages, personal readings, all that kind of fun stuff and help support the channel, please do check out my Patreon link down below because that really does help the continued growth and production of these pick a cards. So without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the messages All right for those of you who were attracted to the orange fairy here we're gonna go ahead and jump into your cards here and we're gonna go ahead and start off with your tarot card and the tarot card that came out for you guys is the four of pentacles so clearly you guys are definitely very career oriented. I definitely feel like, cause we're talking about pentacles. Uh, you're very concerned with your material wealth and your security. So this is definitely important stuff for you. Since it is the four of pentacles, this can refer to uh, specifically careers um, that are within well-established firms. So definitely think more on the side of like corporate jobs, business, um, specifically, you know, we could talk about business education, project management maybe is even a part of that as well. You know, definitely somewhere that is already a well-established, maybe like a commercial firm, any, again, any kind of businesses, accountant, investor, defense force, you know, these are all kind of things that the Four of Pentacles can definitely refer to. It can also really talk about dealing with contracts in big money. So we really are talking about, I would even say things like, maybe like the stock market, you know, very kind of traditional, it feels like traditional um, kind of career office kind of work. But again, you're really dealing a lot with specifically uh, money. Uh, money is definitely a concern. It's a hot topic for you <laughs> coming out here with this kind of energy. So ooh, I'm like bumping stuff as I'm adjusting here. So that's what we have here for your tarot card. Um, it's really important though to remember with the Four of Pentacles that you're not overspending or underspending, that you're not completely consumed by the materialist, material side of things. I'm going to turn down my light a little bit. Oh, and I turned it off. Let's see if I can get this a little less bright there. Hopefully that helps. But yeah, so don't be so caught up in that aspect. Make sure that you have a proper work-life balance going on here for sure. So let's dive more into your cards and see what else is coming out. So for some possible natal chart information, so these could also maybe indicate some other job areas. Or again, these are placements in your natal chart that maybe affect your job and so you should look into them. So we have the moon here with feelings. So we're talking about instinct, nurturing, gut reactions, comfort, digestion, home, family, conditioning, uh, habits, femininity, lineage, privacy, embodiment, emotions, sustenance, self-soothing, moods, mother. Um, so definitely with something like that, it makes me think of uh, you could be dealing with something um, in privacy as well, maybe privacy or cybersecurity, maybe for uh, some sort of big firm. 
Um, this is definitely, or maybe you're working in the family business. There could be an aspect of that, or maybe you want to start a family business as well. You know, the moon is ruled by cancer, which is fourth house energy. So you might want to look at all those kind of placements within your natal chart. We also have coming out for you guys is the ascendant with outlook. So definitely your first impression is highly important. How you dress, how you present yourself, your mannerisms, those are all going to play a very key role in how you go about either getting a job or whatever your future job here is that's resonating. I mean, clearly, if it is something that is more, I guess, corporate or a well-established firm, there is going to be certain expectations about your look and how you present yourself. This is this is feeling like the pile here that if you're like super alternative and you dye your hair, you're covered in tattoos or something, the job areas that are maybe reaching out to you are not gonna be as into that, you know? Not to say that, that any of that is bad at all, but it might, to have this particular job, it might require you, if you are into that kind of style, to have a clear divide here from that style is in your personal life and then you have your work style. Um, but anyway, with the Ascendant, with Outlook, this is your worldview, your mission statement, expression, effect, role, mark, attitude, outer self, point of view, body image, aura, like, uh, likeness, approach, impact, and first impression. So yes, um, you're going to be, I get the sense of being like highly, and this is going to sound not the greatest, but like you're going to be very much judged on how you, again, present yourself. Like the way that you look, the how you walk into a room, how you introduce yourself, like every little detail like that is going to be highly scrutinized. Um, especially if you're going in for like a job interview, like that, your outer self is highly important to how you're viewed within this particular job realm. So Next up, we have an archetype card here, which is the vampire. So the light attributes here are makes you aware that someone or something is draining your life force. Shadow attributes are depleting others for your psychic survival, chronic complaining, and codependency. With this card coming up, I feel like there's a little bit of a warning here that... Again, that goes back into that message that I was feeling of making sure you have a proper work-life balance and you're not allowing your job and like this corporate kind of world suck the life out of you is what I'm definitely getting here. But also, again, that air in that look is going to be, again, highly emphasized because, you know, vampires have a very specific look. They, you know, present, they have this aura about them that's very intriguing. That is something that's going to appeal very much and be an asset within this particular job realm so looking else at some other opportunities here let's see we also have nutrition coming out so you conduct healing work with your culinary skills i don't know why i said it in that way but that is really interesting coming out considering we have the moon here and that talks about you know gut reactions digestion comfort family and it, it does have this very homey you know home cooked you know nurturing healthy kind of meal so again for some of you pick this pile you know, that could be an area. Maybe you're going to be working in a traditional kitchen or just in the culinary world in general. You want to start maybe a restaurant. Maybe you're going to be working in a high-end like end restaurant or something like that or working your way up to that. So paying a lot of attention to your nutrition, making sure that you yourself are eating um, properly because, again, I feel like it's easy as a chef to get caught up in the stress and the um, whirlwind of what it is that you're doing that sometimes you forget to neglect yourself when it comes to your own food because um, you're so caught up and busy about serving others so we also have here a builder with your innate ability to build and create brings you a deep sense of accomplishment so I also feel like especially with these two coming out uh, and also with that ascendant another opportunity here for you guys who pick this pile could be like personal training or like a bodybuilder maybe you're working on um, or maybe like a sports trainer or something like that, like a trainer in general, when I see that builder card. Again, this could also refer to, again, building your own business or helping to build some sort of business with other people. And lastly, we have books here. So with books, you're saying you're connect, you connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books. So again, um, this could tell me maybe some of you are gonna be working in a publishing firm, maybe. There's opportunities in something like that. 
Um, obviously, study, self-study, self-discovery through books and through reading is highly important. Reading up on business, learning about contracts, you know, all of those could definitely be very beneficial. Learning about nutrition for some of you who are into that uh, side of things with this particular pile. So let's get a little bit more advice, maybe some guidance from spirit about your uh, future job here. And so we have an energy card here that is stuck energy, but it came out in the reverse. So we're going to go ahead and dive into this and see what is happening. I feel like with it in the reverse, it's actually a good sign that the energy that maybe you've been, some of you picked this pile, have been struggling to get going with a next job opportunity or something, but that energy is going to be um, moving soon. So when the stuck energy card is reversed, rejoice. The situation has been keeping you that the situation that's been keeping you feeling trapped is starting to shift. Either the situation itself will free you or you will finally find the power to free yourself. And if this card falls near the transformation card, it hearkens a total change in the way you re perceive and deal with your life. This is a dynamic time for you. There may be a big upheaval with some major details to work out. Make sure you release any doubts that come up. Approach the necessary changes joyless, uh, joyously and with confidence and optimism in your heart. The outer circumstances release their hold when you choose to honor your own happiness and intentions. The sun has risen in your life, drying up the mud and allowing you to walk away in any direction you choose. So... Very, very good sign for you guys here. And especially with something like the Four of Pentacles, like that can have that energy of being kind of stuck or stuck in a certain position or situation. And a lot of times it's of one's own making. Sometimes, or again, it's caused by material concerns. I also saw 10 10, so that might be significant to some of you. But yeah, obviously, the energy within your job situation, your career situation, is finally going to get moving again for you guys who picked this particular pile. So, next up, we have a potential crystal here that might be beneficial for you guys when it comes to your career and what you're trying to do. And we have the blue lace agate. So again, I feel like with this card in particular coming out, communication is going to be highly important. Uh, soothing your emotions as well with this energy. And this is card 12, which would add up to 3. So that might be also another important number for some of you. So with the blue lace agate, we're talking about the essential meanings of peaceful acceptance, stress-free, non-attachment, freedom from unnecessary dramas. So the prosperity message here is, did an opportunity fade before you had a chance to seize it? No worries. Give your stress a break. This or something better is a truth that Blue Lace Agate Spirit wants to remind you of, it, for it brings with it the energy of calm and peaceful transformation. Maybe the opportunity to build your wealth wasn't right the right one for you, and what's coming is so much better than you will say that you will say to yourself, what was I thinking? worrying about the past endings lead to beginnings so be present in this transition learning the lessons of the past and being enthusiastic about all the wealth that will be available to you in a prosperous future there's always more thanks to the conscious universe so you never need stress or try to hold on too tightly your wealth may change its form but abundance is your birthright trust in the conscious universe and you'll be guided toward the opportunities for co-creating prosperity that you seek this totally makes complete sense with everything else around here it also tells me that again a lot of the opportunities or the jobs maybe you were applying to before or again the jobs you were involved with before weren't leading anywhere good you might have had a lot of rejections or you know whatnot but with this being here and again especially with that stuck energy card coming out both these are kind of referring to transformation you know your luck is going to be changing and it may be in an area that you hadn't considered before or it wasn't the area that you were highly focusing on but it's going to bring a lot of opportunity for you regardless so Lastly, your final card here that we have is the Riddle Fisher. So divination, seeking out and finding answers. Very interesting. She's holding a key there. And this is card three. Wow. That is wild. So uh, definitely, you know, be listening to your own personal um, 
intuition a lot right now. Uh, a lot of answers and a lot of synchronicities might be popping up to you as confirmation. You might be even watching a lot of different pick of cards trying to find answers, especially to what's happening job career wise. So time to seek out the help of the fairy realm to find what is lost, recovering lost memories, past life readings, and issues coming to the surface, going through the emotional waters that are deep, and knowing it's safe to do so. It's really interesting that that is being brought up because, again, you have that moon with the feeling. So, and again, the moon represents and rules, you know, our deeper, uh, true, like, emotional personality and self. So obviously there could be a little bit of work for you guys to do in that area, especially in reevaluating, you know, what it is you want out of a job or a career. More so, we're talking just about like jobs. But you know, feeling your feelings and knowing their wisdom, searching for an answer, water divining, using pendulums and finding clues in conundrum uh Quandaries. Blech. Just as you are searching for answers, a fairy is searching for your answer too. They love your puzzles and will find things and answers and pieces of information for you that will put the current jigsaw into a meaningful picture for you. Come at this time. Allow this fairy to go on the search for you. You may not find the answers you are looking for, but you will find what is right for you. And you have a lot of that energy going on here where it's like, it's not about finding the answer you expect it's finding what is right and correct for you especially when again it comes to a job um again it's really interesting it's bringing up you know using a pendulum uh water divination so you guys might want to experiment a little bit with that because it might be very helpful might be beneficial for you guys so yeah again those are the different opportunities i'm seeing job wise that you guys could be involved with or might be correct for you to kind of look into again anything that is like business corporate big contracts um publishing uh bodybuilding nutrition cooking culinary world in general those are kind of the main ones that i'm feeling off this particular pile so if this resonated please do leave a like, comment down below. I'm very curious to know what you guys thought about this little reading. And of course, if you'd like to help support this channel and the continued production of these kind of pick a cards, please do consider checking out my Patreon because that gives you guys access to more exclusive pick a cards, coloring pages, personal readings, all kinds of fun stuff. And it really truly does help the continued uh, work here that I'm doing. So thank you all so much and I'll see you in the next all right, one. For those of you who are attracted to pile two here with the dragon fruit fairy, we're going to go ahead and jump into your reading and into your cards. And we're going to start off with our tarot card. And so for you guys, what came out is the five of wands. So this definitely tells me that you guys, um, are definitely going to be dealing with a job where there is a lot of competition. Um, there could definitely be a lot of people who are applying for this particular position or, you know, is involved in this. It could also definitely be a very active or sportsman-like um, particular career or position. You know, we could be dealing with anything from transport to tourism to productions. Uh, police detective work could come up in this particular um, energy. Also, other possibilities for you guys could be, you know, again, very competitive jobs, talent scout, agent, professional sports, physical jobs, dealing with red tape, um, such things like that. Other possibilities potentially could be, you know, again, sporting careers, any kind of physical work. That's generally the vibe that's coming through here. So if you guys are interested already in anything like that, or you do have a very sportsman-like um, attitude or way that you handle things, or again, you like very physically demanding work, uh, this is definitely going to be um, some opportunities here for you guys in that realm of things. Uh, you're definitely going to be dealing with, regardless, with definitely um, groups of people, which is, it's really important that you don't get sucked into, I feel like, you know, work, co-worker drama, um, especially if you're not like a, actually a part of whatever is happening, you want to kind of stay away from that because it could be very easy to get sucked into those kind of arguments and, you know, we don't need that much drama in our lives, but let's see what other opportunities for you guys who pick this particular pile. So let's see. So 
for your potential natal chart information. So again, these might be aspects that you want to look at in your natal chart uh, that could indicate even more about what you need to know as far as job and career wise. So first up, we got Scorpio with the animal. So transformative, intense, passionate, secretive, carnal, thorough, obsessive, intimate, primal, lusty, deep, external, resourceful, mysterious, regenerative, compulsive, destructive, manipulative. So obviously with something like Scorpio, any kind of eighth house, Pluto-esque kind of jobs or things might be very much of interest for you. This could be anything from like funeral work to again, police work to anything that is taboo. Um, I'm just going to throw it out there. Again, it's not going to apply to everybody, so don't freak out when I say it. But yes, it could refer to things like maybe like the porn industry or sex work or again, if it's legal wherever you are. Um, you know, anything like that. You know, using seductive qualities in career, in whatever the job is, could definitely be a part of that Scorpio aspect. Um, inheritances, wills, um, maybe working in something like that. Um, again, anything that is highly transformative, anything that is very intense, you like intense and very, again, active, I feel like, jobs that are going to really get you uh, thinking and it is deep, you know, mysterious aspects of thing, maybe research even, you know, unsol like solving mysteries and puzzles might be of interest for some of you as well. Let's see what else we have. We also have trine with flow. So harmonizes, aids, enriches, benefits, uh, energizes, enjoys, eases, lubricates, gifts, rhythms, supports, and indulges. Um, so you definitely want to check out where you have trines in your natal chart because that might help to indicate some job opportunities for you guys. But I definitely feel like, you know, being in harmony uh, with the people that you are around or that you're working with is important. Having a natural flow to things. You don't like stagnant energy. Again, I feel like sitting behind a desk is going to be something that you guys are not going to really like. You want to be like in the action. You want to always be moving. You want to be doing new things. You like movement very much. And we have opposition with balance. Again, you want something that's also balanced for you. Relates, mirrors, interacts, confronts, makes conscious, manifests, disciplines, conflicts with, tests, objectifies, and calls out. You're not afraid of a challenge. I also get that. Uh, you like to be challenged in your work. <sighs> Again, you like something that has a little bit of discipline in it, but and you're not afraid of like confrontation for sure. So let's see about your archetype here. So we have Thief, very kind of in line with that Scorpio energy. Uh, so Thief, light attributes of sheds lights on the potential wealth within you that can never be stolen. Shadow attributes of stealing money, creative ideas, affection, or other powers you think you lack. So definitely remember that you do not lack any of ability. Uh, I feel like you guys have a lot of innate and natural talent that you can kind of bank on. Again, I feel like for a lot of you, your physical prowess, um, your body itself is like a asset. You know, you, you recognize your talents and your strengths and you know where they lie. And so that's like how you can bank off of it. Um got a good mind and you again you like to solve uh puzzles so next up we have you're on the right path keep doing what you're doing because it's working so a lot of you are already pursuing or going after jobs that are correct for you you are following the correct path you know again i get an inkling that a lot of you pick this particular pile whether you realize it or not you do know what the right path is for you and so you're you're on your way to heading towards that. I feel like you're more so watching this particular video as like, you know, just some, you know, feel good confirmation. Even though innately you kind of know it, maybe you're like kind of second guessing. We also have children coming out here. So your life purpose involves helping, teaching, and healing children. So again, some of you might be wanting to go on the path of becoming a teacher or again, working with children, children's therapy. Um, again... Anything that has to do with teaching or healing, uh, working with children in particular, again, maybe like a gym teacher, <laughs> like who knows, something like that. And again, uh, children like a lot of stimulation. They like to be activated, um, their mind and body to be, you know, 
you know, stimulated. And don't take that a weird way. Uh, but like, yeah, it's like you got to keep, especially younger children, you know, active and busy because they have just a lot of energy. So I feel like you guys like to kind of direct that energy and help to, you know, have it flow in the correct way. We also have travel here. So your life purpose involves traveling. So that might also kind of play into this role of like why you guys don't like to kind of sit still. Uh, you want to have, again, very active traveling jobs, which would make sense, especially if you're doing anything in like the sports um, career kind of aspect. You're going to have to travel because if you're a part of a team, teams travel all the time for things that excites you. Or again, maybe even something like travel blogger, vlogger, you know, thing like that. I don't know why parkour came to mind in particular, or like skater, surfer, anything active. And that's definitely going to get you moving. So next up, we have some cards that are kind of a, advice from spirit potentially to help you here. And so the first one we have is the sacred temple with spirit. So again, I get the sense that you inherently know what is correct for you. Oh, uh, regardless, you know, this is your hall of records. This is your Akashic records. You innately have um, wisdom within you that directs you in the right direction. So this card unveils your unlimited place of power and inspiration. The sacred temple is the seat of your soul and it's always available to you as a source of peace, balance, and connection to spirit. You can access this wonderful place by meditating on your own heart center. Receiving this card upright is telling you it's time to do so. You're at a point in your life and in your personal power where you're able to open this holy vault and connect with the unlimited information contained therein. Whatever project you may be working on, whatever type of information you need with their personal, spiritual, financial, medical, artistic, scientific, or any other topic, the answers you seek are available to you now through the Akashic Records. When you connect with this powerful spiritual source, you'll find all of the avenues of your life opening up with possibility. This card is telling you that you are ready, so take the time to enter the temple. Meditate, trust, and believe. You'll be amazed at the important energy and information you find there. Exactly. So next up, we have a potential crystal here that might be beneficial for you guys to use as far as, you know, job, career aspects. And we got selenite. So obviously purifying, um, amplifying the energy around you. And so again, everybody should have a piece of selenite because not only is selenite, again, a beneficial cleansing um, stone, it also naturally cleanses other stones around it. So the essential meanings here are liquid light, fluidity, flexibility. Maybe again, the job that you are wanting to do requires you to be very flexible in whatever aspect you want to take that in. So illumination and clarity, raising your vibration. So the prosperity message here for you guys is we often think of wealth too literally as having money or owning property or stuff. Instead, of acknowledging its spiritual nature. The earth has boundless riches for it reflects the universe's endless love for us. Our task is to bring light and stay connected to our higher power and recognize prosperity in its many forms. Selenite spirit calls you to be less rigid in your thinking about what it means to be wealthy and prosperous so that from the realm of air where ideas originate, you can signal to the universe that you are ready to manifest the material resources you need to do your healing work and find your purpose. What you require might be different from what you think. So be flexible and open to new ideas about how you can prosper and what will serve you best. And I just saw 1111 uh, when I finished reading that. That's wild. So lastly, we have stolen in her sleep unaware unconscious unawakened so i feel like there's also a little bit of a spiritual aspect here definitely for you guys because again innately i feel like you know get that message if you're on the right path like you innately know what it is you're supposed to be doing um so that might be why i'm, I'm just gonna call it out i feel like a lot of you maybe pick this pile are gonna be initially like oh this doesn't resonate or this doesn't apply to me or that's not what i'm interested in like, there is, there's definitely a group of you, I feel like, who are doing that with this pile. Um, but the reason you're feeling that way is because of this part of the message, where it's like, no, you picked this pile because you're wanting a, 
definitive answer, but it's like you already know the answer. It's already within you. It's in your Akashic records. You just have to tap into it. You just need to connect a little bit more to your spirit and, you know, ask the right questions. So maybe again, a lot of those answers will come to you in your sleep. So with this, it's talking about unable to remember dreams, feeling cut off from psychic abilities, unsure of whether the path you are drawn to follow is safe. See, you're questioning that. You're questioning if you're on the right path. And again, this is your confirmation that, hey, yes, you are. You just need to stop letting fear or doubt kind of come in to confuse you. So... Feeling scared that you may be entering a dark realm, wishing to go home and to ascend before you have done the deep work on the self. So there's an aspect here for you guys definitely of diving into that shadow work. And that's why Scorpio is coming in here because Scorpio is very much about that dark shadowy self and really being at home in that. So some of you really need to work with that aspect. So... Uh, send before you have done the work, the deep work on the self. If this card has come to you, it's time to go deep within, to go into the earth and to understand that material transformation is spiritual. It is then that your gifts will be fully awakened. See, you guys have innately some really special gifts within you that can be very beneficial to whatever job or career that you're going after, but you have to be willing to, again, dive deeper and go into the dark realms that are could be uncomfortable sometimes, mattering on what is there that is unresolved, because that's how shadow work works. But again, you have to do the shadow work in order to get to the light. So with that said, I think that is everything that I'm getting off this particular pile here. So if this resonated, please do leave a like, comment down below. I'm very curious to know what you guys thought about this pile. And of course, if you'd like to help support this channel and the continued production of these kind of videos, please do consider checking out my Patreon. It truly does help and it gives you guys access to exclusive pick a cards, um, coloring pages, artwork, personal readings, all kinds of little fun stuff. And I'm always looking for new ways to add new and fun things. So definitely feel free to drop some suggestions if you like. So without further ado, I will see you guys in the all next right, one. All right, for those that picked the third and final pile here with the Grape Fairy that you are attracted to. We're going to go ahead and jump into your reading, into your cards. We're going to start off with your Tarot. And so the Tarot card that came out for you guys is the Hanged Man. So Neptune Energy. So you definitely want to check out your Pisces, Neptune places, your 12th house placements. Or also your Jupiter because Jupiter is... Um, you know, the ancient traditional ruler of Pisces as well in that energy. So you might want to look into that as well. But yeah, we have this realm of kind of the Pisces. So we could talk a lot about the subconscious, uh, changing your perspective maybe on what it is that you've been looking at job or career-wise in particular. But with this um, particular card and major arcana here, so this is definitely an important um, job situation for you guys. You know, this is connecting more than just to a job. This is really tying into your life purpose and what lights you up inside. So with the hangman, you know, this can refer to careers uh, and jobs in pharmaceutical, uh, excuse me, pharmaceuticals, psychology, innovation. You know, it's definitely signaling uh, being here that you're wanting more job satisfaction, you know, but you... You either have been struggling very hard to find that or it's not quite the right time yet. Uh, the opportunity hasn't quite aligned yet. There's a lot of divine timing involved. It, ooh, excuse me. And like, again, diving deeper into, again, that subconscious state. Into deeply what it is you feel and what resonates for you. Other possibilities here... Um, with the hanged man can definitely talk about again creative writing uh magicians art and music so if you guys you know that's definitely very piscean as well so again those creative um realms of things so again um you're either dealing with you know psychology the mind pharmaceuticals drugs you know innovation doing something new or you're talking about the very everything has to do with the mind here for sure and the, not just the mind in the sense of like how the air signs are kind of involved with the mind, but the deeper emotional aspects of the mind, you know, the mysterious aspects of the mind. Again, the psychology, 
of the mind and how people feel and how they think and how they act and you know really wanting to bring about a message so on the creative aspect again with that creative writing you know creating a magical world you know escapism is definitely an aspect here so very very interesting again music you'll you, it's things that are deep run deeper you you're wanting to touch people's souls really is what i'm getting here you know that kind of connection for some of you for some of you that could definitely be the case so Let's start diving a little bit deeper and we're going to start off with a potential natal chart information that you're going to want to look at. And I cannot believe what card came out for you guys considering what your zodiac, your, your tarot card is, okay? You guys got the 12th house. You really, really need to look at what is happening in your 12th house. Again, Pisces energy, Neptune, also consider uh, looking at your Jupiter. Um, so the 12th house is surrender. It's the subconscious mind, compassion, dreams, karma, forgiveness, baggage, trance states, the unseen, healing, spiritual development, guilt, prayer, Akashic records. So um, for a lot of you pick this pile, you might even want to pursue careers or jobs that are more esoteric in nature. They're unconventional. They're in the spiritual woo side of things. Uh, you could also maybe want to do stuff with, again, therapy, healing. You want to do healing either in the traditional sense of like, again, those pharmaceuticals or again, psychology, those kind of therapies, or you want to do on the opposite end of like healing through a spiritual aspect like Reiki or uh, maybe like music therapy or again you want to work in the like the dream aspect of things where maybe you want to study sleep or how people sleep that might be another thing here uh, prayer so some of you might even want to go onto a religious path you want to go do some sort of religious study very very interesting again those 12 as uh, 12th house aspects could be very much playing a role here. You, maybe even your north node is in the 12th house or something. Because again, I get a, very, a big sense here that we're talking, you guys, unlike kind of the other two groups in this reading, your your life purpose is a little bit more present here, I feel like. Or again, you're, you're more concerned with that aspect of like living a life of value and purpose than just, oh, I need a job. Even though, yes, we all need a job. Uh, but anyway, oh my god. And for your archetype uh, card that came out, we have Messiah. Are you kidding me right here? Jeez, like fucking Jesus energy. Uh, light attribute. Serving humanity with humility. That's what you guys want to do. You want something that is really serving humanity. Or again, understanding humanity more. Shadow attributes are of exaggerated belief that you are the only means through which a cause can succeed. Very interesting. So obviously, yeah, some very big humanitarian energy here. Let's see what else we got coming out for you guys. Oh my god, I cannot believe. This is so wild how these cards lined up. So we have leadership. So take charge of the situation. So obviously you guys uh, do have natural born leadership ability. Um, but again, it's more of a leadership ability where you're not trying to necessarily boss people around or tell people what to do. It's more so you want to guide people is the energy I'm getting. We also have energy healing. What was I talking about? Your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your life purpose. So again, that Reiki, yoga, um, chakra alignment, using singing bowls, you know, any kind of energy healing that you are interested in, look at different avenues. You definitely could have an ability with that. And look at this. We got music too. And that was literally one of the keywords that popped up with the, um, hangman is music. So some of you are definitely have a very musical talent that you want to do as your job. So your connection to music is healing for yourself and others. Again, that music healing, um, idea came to mind again so let's see what else we got here uh so we're kind of moving to cards that are you know advice or from kind of spirit what else you need to know and I, again i can't believe what came out for you guys this is so wild but we have a creative endeavor and look at that we got like the violin or viola here we got a canvas we got the camera books writing again you guys are definitely meant to do something very creative you a lot of you pick this pile you want to do something creative for your career but more so than just that you know there's a very spiritual aspect to this because we also have intuition and manifestation so some of you might be interested in also doing you know stuff like this tarot reading um, divination, 
again, working with crystals, um, manifestation, all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and talk about the um, Creative Endeavors card first, which is card, um, this is card eight for you guys. And so let's see what it has to say. So soul expression. Again, you really want to express something from your soul. A fiddle. Oh, so that's what it, it's a fiddle. Uh, adorned with vines, stands upright in the sand along with books, a camera, paintbrushes, and an artist's easel. A beautiful, vibrant river flows by, indicating the new inspiration is coming. This heralds a period of great creativity for you. If you've been thinking about a new creative project, it's time to get things going. And if you're already working on such a project, this card is telling you to shift it into high gear. The activities involved in this pursuit may be something personal, like taking up painting or learning how to play the piano. You may even decide to go to school to learn something new. Professional opportunities are also indicated, however. You may open an art studio or even a bakery. There's also great potential in writing, publishing, theater, and music performance or composition. If these or other creative activities call to your heart now, is the time to take action. Set aside your doubts, share your talents with the world, and express your soul's desire. This card is singing your praises, and so should you. Ooh, I got chills. Uh, <laughs> so, and then of course we have the intuition and manifestation. You gotta listen and follow your intuition, 100%. That is where, like, some of your greatest strength lies, especially with, again, that hangman and 12th house energy. Uh, the one word of thing to point out here with this kind of energy, and especially because this Creative Endeavors card was bringing it up of like, okay, you need to take action on this now. Uh, there is a sense of, you know, with that hangman of procrastination, or again, to be your head being too much in the clouds, too much in the idea and not grounded enough in the actual physical action of things. So that's, that's important that you guys work at that. But talking about this this is the crystal ball so a woman looks at a beautiful crystal ball on a velvet covered table the orb reflects the light of the room and is surrounded by the light of spirit yet we can see a misty image in the center the message here is that your future potential is available to you now both to see and to change the more you learn to trust your intuition the more you'll be able to know what is down the road for you not only that you'll be able to get flashes of insight about what you need to do now to to forge your future desire. This card upright is telling you that you have the clarity to create the vision of what you want and the energetic ability to make it real. You have the power of manifestation and it's time to take that seriously. Also, if you've been thinking of developing a career or an avocation in the art of mediumship or oracle card readings, this card is giving you the green light. Your intuitive powers are expanding, so open up to the messages that you are so clearly able to receive. There you guys go. You might even want to start with um, practicing with a crystal ball, but obviously, yeah, if you want to go down a path of mediumship, tarot reading, oracle reading, whatever floats your boat, then yes, this is the pile for you guys, for sure. So, moving on to some crystals that might be beneficial for you guys. And you guys got additional cards, just want to mention. And also, I do want to mention another crystal that might be really good for you guys, especially because, again, I had a feeling there was going to be a lot of Pisces energy here, um, is Labradorite, because that is a Pisces stone as well. But you guys got... Orange calcite, which I absolutely love, and that totally plays into the creativity that we have going on here. I actually have a piece of uh, tumbled orange calcite right here because I love my calcite. And look at that. We got spirit cords. Again, the creativity and the spirit going hand in hand all the way through here. I got to get myself a piece of uh, spirit cords. It's so pretty. But let's talk about the orange calcite because it is one of my favorites. I do love it so so, the central meanings are obviously going to be creativity, the pleasure of birthing something new, sensuality, and sexuality. Yes. Again, if you are a highly creative person, do not be surprised, especially if you're moving in a time where you're creatively lit, to also be lit in the sexual fronts as well, because those two go hand in hand, because we're talking about the sacral chakra. The sacral chakra rules both of those things, so they kind of go hand in hand. So again, sometimes when I'm doing readings and it's like, oh, we're talking a lot about sexual energy and sometimes some people don't resonate with the sexual energy. That's 
that's totally up to you. That's fine. But I, I like to try to remind people like, hey, you know, if this is the focus of the energy here, but that doesn't resonate for you, it's really also referring to creativity as well, that you need to tap into that as well. So it goes, they, they both go hand in hand. So anyway, for your prosperity message here, you are an artist in your own life and your canvas is before you. What will you make with the time and money available to you? Today, your power to think outside of the box and put old patterns behind you is very strong. For Orange Calcite Spirit magnifies your creative abilities. Imagine how you might think differently about affluence or how you might interact with your finances in new ways that are more beneficial to you. Do you need to learn to delegate work to others or pay someone else to do tasks that keep you from your true calling. Orange Calcite Spirit says that now is a time to be creative in how you translate all that is given to you into life of meaning and purpose. Spend differently and reconsider how you use your time. Your creative approach to developing prosperity will serve you now. So again, pay attention to your time management, how you're spending your money, you know, this is the time for you to really shine in your creative endeavors. This is the moment to really put action towards this now. So now let's talk about our spirit courts, which is card 54. And so with this card being here, it's talking about the essential means of connecting to community, universal love, harmony, and cooperation. So the prosperity message here is love is all around. Can you feel it? Love is just one form of abundance and it provides a firm foundation when you are feeling weak and unsure. So today, follow this spirit's call and connect to community. Offer others the gift of being able to support you in whatever way they can so they too may know their power to bring about healing in the world and experience the joy of helping you achieve the security and prosperity you seek. Abundance is always in a state of flow, and today through your community, you will see the truth on that truth on display. So, obviously, reaching out and finding communities that really resonate with this energy is also really important for you guys because networking is important for sure, especially whenever you're doing anything creative or unconventional, building that foundation of a community to support you. Because again, we're really talking about unconventional job out avenues here in a lot of ways um so again connections community can be very very important lastly our final card here for you guys is card 37 which is keeper of secrets use your discernment confide in tr a trusted friend keep silent about knowledge and it came out in the reverse so this is definitely a warning here even though i just said that about the community thing and yes that is totally true when you do, there, there is a sense here that you need to be wise about, you know, the people around you, for sure. You, again, you want people around you who are supportive, who are actually going to be beneficial in your endeavors and are going to support you and not, you know, talk down to you about what it is that you are passionate about. On the other side of things, you want to, you know... Hold your cards a little bit close to your chest. The important cards, the your ideas, like the specifics of your ideas and your manifestations, like especially if these certain projects are not yet to completion, you always want to kind of hold those close to your chest and you don't want to go blabbing and telling lots of people about, oh yeah, this is what I'm doing and this is what I'm working on right now but it's not done because that opens you up to one, you're expending your energy uh, too much when you should be focusing on creating the work. Uh, and two, it leaves open doors for other people's energy to affect your manifestation or potentially in a very negative sense, uh, others to steal your ideas and do them before you even get a chance to show them. So I'm sure this card is going to reiterate that all, but let's go ahead and read it. You are tempted to tell everyone about your exciting news, discovery, or breakthrough. And while this is easy to understand, it's not wise to do. Because with every word you speak before the work is done, you send away a little of our fairy magic. You dilute our power to help just a little. You need you, need you to act first and speak later. We also wish to tell you that the people you wish to speak to may not be the best to confide in. If you must share these secrets you are learning, choose well, for these secrets are powerful and must not be squandered. 
So exactly, guys, like that is your word of caution here from spirit. Just be mindful of who you're telling your secrets to or your ideas to, especially when you're still working on them. You know, you want to give your work a chance to take on a life of its own and breathe and, you know, get to a nice state of completion. It doesn't mean that you can't like tease and like, you know, mention just like very generally like, oh yeah, I'm working on a new painting. Mm. Or I'm working on this new series of photography. And you know, when people ask, ooh, you know, what is it? Tell us more. And you're like, no, no, no. You're gonna have to wait. Wait, waiting is the good part. <laughs> And then, you know, because of those, you keep like, you know, drip feeding you. That's part of learning how to entertain kind of um, an audience in a way. You don't always want to give an audience, you know, all the answers initially. Uh, you want to kind of pull them in, get them excited, get them interested, but not, you know, revealing the beans, so to speak. And again, be mindful about who you're confiding in because some of you could have people close to you that, you know, you consider friends or family or whatever. And you tell them, oh, yeah, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm so passionate about. And then they like, they give you that look like, oh, my God, like, what are you doing? Like, you know, and that, that, that dampers your light and that dampers your excitement and makes you go into a state of second guessing, especially as, you know, as much as I feel here with you guys as being creative, spiritual souls, you know, you could be also sensitive souls and that kind of shit can definitely damper your 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 fun time <laughs> so yes regardless that is the energy that i'm seeing here for this particular pile so if this resonated please do leave a like comment down below i'm very curious to know what you all think about this pile and of course if you'd like to help support this channel and its continued growth and work that i'm doing please do consider checking out my patreon that will give you guys access to exclusive pick a cards um taking part in polls decision making things coloring pages artwork you know personal readings all of that fun stuff is going to be on my patreon so if you guys want to be a part of that definitely do check out that link below it means the world to me and i will see you guys in the next one